they didn't show the end of the uh, elimination, so that's the first time they did that this season. So, that was the fifth episode. Another episode, I did not win the tribunal. I was getting frustrated, man. Um, yeah, so ask y'all's questions um, in the comments. I'm not trying to click on the question button. Just ask whatever questions y'all got um, in the comments. I'll try to answer some, um, but I'm going to answer most of them in my recap video tonight. On my Patreon account, it's just easier. I could take a, just write the questions down and take a YouTube video and post a link on there. Um, yeah, so that first round of, uh, what, do you, what, did, what did TJ call it, fireball? Hmm. Challenge flag. What up, Maddie? Josh, bro. Josh, Josh, Josh. Should've went in. Should've went in, Josh, but there's a lot of a lot of things people don't understand, man. When you're up there, you know, you're in power. You just saw CT go home. I get that. Um, let's see, Josh, come in here. All right, I'm just going to sit here and wait for Josh. But anyways, yeah, so it's different when you're up there. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't know because I haven't <laughs> been in the tribunal. But, um, yeah, like, uh, I think last week with D, or no, the first week with D when she didn't go against Jen, everybody's like, oh, it's a no-brainer. But, like, when you're up there, like, TJ puts you on the spot. You're not mentally prepared. Um, Josh, if Josh requests to come in, I'll let him in. Because um, I got some questions for Josh myself. But... Looking back, man, I was like, damn. Like, even before we knew Jay was going to be nominated by the House, like, I had three big brother people in the tribunal. I should have at least told them to vote for me um, for a nominee. That way, you know, I could go down there and, and if I see something. I know Jay was in there and I wasn't going to say Jay's name. But at the end of the day, you don't know how many red skulls or opportunities you're going to get, you know? So, yeah, we're trying to save Jay, but he's getting thrown in left and right. So, might as well try to get a red skull out of it, you know? I'm lit. How do I add you? Josh, you do this every week. What you mean? All right. You got a request. Um, hold on. I'm going to come in here acting a fool. I already know. I already know. Wait for Josh to see if it connects. You would have killed anyone there. Yeah, we know that much. Josh is drunk. What's up, Daddy? Joshy. What's up, homie? What up, bro? Bro, I'm heated. What's up, Maddie? What's What's Maddie saying? I don't know. Just saw someone someone help fast. What, what, what are you talking about? Oh. Yo, I first of all, I wanna. There's so much I need to get off of my chest. I don't but, even want to get into. So I'm gonna let but, you take it away because I don't even want to talk about things that didn't air. So let I'll just let you guide it. But we we gotta be careful because I know you're drunk. Yeah. And yeah, this was, exactly. this, this elimination didn't end. It was the first episode where they they extended yeah. it. You're right. You're right. Hold on. Let me put a filter on this because I look dumb lit. Um. Well, you're, you're, okay. Yeah. So we can't talk, we can't talk about the elimination. Am I blurry? Bro, you got to get some service, too, bro. Am I blurry right now? No, you're blurry. No way. I mean, it, it'll do, I guess. Guys, can you see us good? No, it's not uploading. Let me fix, let me fix my wife. Let me fix my wife and I'll jump back on. All right. All right. Josh's Wi-Fi is ass. Um... But yeah, so they didn't show the end of the elimination, so obviously I can't talk about some of that stuff. All I know is when I saw balls in, I, re I immediately regretted um, not letting the tribunal at least pick me as one of three. Because that's something, you know, watching the past two seasons, when, when I saw that, I was like, that would be like a dream come true elimination. Um, but, you know, timing is everything. That even though it's episode five was still very early on. And I think that's why Josh and Swaggy 
they wanted to play their cards right. You know, that was Josh's first tribunal. I feel like Josh had a lot of stuff. Um, he felt like he needed to do in the game. So, yeah, I mean, he's bigger than Jay. He could go down and uh, and beat Jay. But, um, yeah. But I would have loved to go against Rogan in that, man. That shit was giving me, like, goosebumps. When I saw Rogan go down there and, like, how confident he was, I was like, bro, you're going against Jay, man. Like, come on, man. Like, <sighs> Josh. I had you, Josh. Hold on. You better have some damn Wi-Fi, Josh. Are we good now? Yeah, you're good. What's up, fam? Um, none. I, okay, so let's let's ask let's answer some questions on here, so we're just not talking okay. shamelessly. Yeah. Um. So ask your questions in the comments, guys. Ask your questions in the comments. But, First um, off, let me let me just say for everybody, because I'm reading tweets right now, and I don't even know why I'm doing it because I'm a little buzzed. But for people saying that it was a coward move for me not to go up against Jay. Me and Jay are actually friends outside of the game, and he we had a whole CBS thing going on that you guys didn't see. But not only that, I was one of the only, like, the few friends that he had in there, so I felt bad going up against him. And honestly, I didn't feel threatened to go up against anybody else in elimination, if I'm being real. Besides so, Fessy. Besides Fessy, so, I didn't want to see Fessy. So this is a question I, I really wanted to ask you and Swaggy, because... Um, you just said that, and Swaggy tweeted Jay was his homeboy, so Swaggy wasn't going to go down there. So I yeah. completely agree with that. And when you're, I'm telling everybody, when you're up there in the tribunal, it's a lot different. There's nerves, there's situational stuff. Oh, but, facts. But if that's the case, and you felt like you wanted to save Jay, and Jay's your homeboy, why give Rogan exactly what he wants in a physical elimination? Yeah. Why not send someone smaller in there, and we could save Jay possibly um, than throwing I, the biggest guy besides me in the house, you know? Look at you with your interview quest. I, I see you, kid. We're going to get you a gig after this. Um, no, no, good question. That's the thing. Like, I honestly, I Rogan came to me and said, if I win, and if I'm in the tribunal and you want in, I'll throw you in. If you come to me and say you want to go down, so obviously everybody was cutting deals. You guys don't see yeah. a lot. Yeah, but everybody, true. bro, everybody was cutting deals. And at that point, what you don't see, and me and Wes are texting right now. By the way, me and Wes are cool. This is all game related, so everybody can calm down. We're talking game. But um, what you guys don't see is Wes was already rallying numbers, bro. He was trying to go, obviously, after Jordan. But I was like, all right, he knows I'm not with him. So what am I thinking? I'm like, I gunned for the guy last season. He's going to come after me. So let me protect myself. Let me fucking do what I have to do. Put whatever deals I have to do to make sure I'm I'm trying to play a long game. I wasn't trying to, you know, yeah. fuck shit up early on. It was real early still in the game. Yeah, that's what I'm telling people. So you brought up a good point that uh, I forgot because it's been so long since we actually filmed it. Was a lot of people were yeah. doing, like, if you want to call them favors for people saying, hey, oh, yeah. I'll throw you a bone um, and give you your Red Skull opportunity you want. That way, you know, when you're in the tribunal, you could possibly throw me one. So I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Rogan wanted in, and that's probably a deal you and him. And well, Jay favorite. also told me on the bus. Jay was sitting next to me on the bus there, on the bus right there. And Jay could probably say this himself. And he's, I told him, who do you want? Do you want Wes or do you want Rogan straight up? And he said, I want Rogan. And I think the reason why he wanted Rogan was because of the whole rivalry, that whole storyline. Yes. But yes. also, you know this, right? I, I mean, we can say this. Like What? We, I can say, we can say this. So I he mean, wanted... Jay, Jay's not going to back down, but if, exactly. if, we're, if we're being real and being 100 and yeah. you and Swaggy and Casey, I don't know how else Casey felt about Jay, but you and Swaggy really trying to save Jay... Even though he's, he's trying to be big and bad and be like, I want Rogan. Of course, Jay's not no bitch. He's not going to back down. But we yeah, all facts. feel like if it's a physical balls in elimination, you're going to put Rogan against Jay Watts. Probably it's all size. True. Yeah, true. But you, I get where you're coming from as, okay, well, Rogan said, you know, if you give me mine, I'll give you yours lately. So you have to look out for yourself. You know what I mean? And as far as people giving you shit about not going in, not going down. Um, Listen, it's all, it's all, it's all game. I, I don't care. Cause at the end of the day, this is the first season where I walk in brother and I'm stacked, like yeah. stacked in the, my first season. My back was against the wall. Second season. I hate half of the cast hated me. So I walk in, I got you. I got Casey. 
I got a big brother. I got friendships that I build. So I'm like, yo, I'm in a safe spot. There's no need for me to really start shit. And my only, not enemy, but the only person that I did blindside was Wes last season. So what? I'm going to gun for a friend instead of going against the guy that I already fucking went after? Yeah. And I, I think for me, the same thing was when I came in, I, I know you were obviously stacked because you had your previous alliances and friendships from two seasons of the challenge. Then you had a fresh new four big brother people. Yeah. So for me, some rookies come in with no squad behind them. I came in with four four big brother people. And yeah. when TJ dropped the red skull twist, I was like, bet. I already was planning on me going into elimination. So now yeah. every, everybody got to go into elimination. So kind of what, even out. What is wrong with this filter right now? Bruh, stop, bro. You I'm trying to get a good filter, bro. Okay, okay there we go. You're doing <laughs> Instagram stories on my live. <laughs> No, listen, that that's the thing, dude. It's so early in the game. We have a long season. I can't we came in for the long game. You you at the end of the day, you're not going anywhere because everybody was legit scared of you. Terrified of you. Um the the funny thing is though, like, um, because I see people on, on Twitter and and stuff like they're like and they're like, Oh, why why they keep throwing in Jay? Why not another rookie like Fessy or Swag? And it's like I don't know if they can tell by showing the episode because obviously their storyline and people from the challenge have been on 10 plus seasons and yeah. the whole bear Kayla thing. So they're highlighting that. Yeah. But what they're not showing is bro, like they're not going to just toss my name around like that. And same with your name, like, because you come with a lot of fucking smoke too, if they say your name, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like if the episode doesn't show that people on Twitter or whatever, they don't really, they only see they, they what have, they're like, shown. Yeah, my brother. I've listened. We're doing three seasons of this, and obviously, big brother. I've accepted that, like, what the fans see in the edit, that's what you go with. And at the end of the day, shout out to producers because they do a great job. They have to tell a story. You know, they have to tell a story, and and they do a really good job at it. They can't show everything, but that game with the twist this season, it changed everything. It changed from, you know, us not having to go into elimination and just basically fucking skates not skate to the end but have an easy ride to the end to where you had to fucking go up against people and and it, it became a call-out game so we were all just sitting there just fucking waiting for our fucking our cards to be called or just waiting for the right moment to go down i didn't want to face a friend i didn't care about going against west i didn't care about going against other people even Corey, i love Corey, but like Corey nelson i didn't have ties to them so i was like all right my time's gonna come i just didn't want to go up against somebody that i had a, a friendship with yeah and and I think this needs to be said, um, not just for me, not just for you, not just for everybody in the tribunal, for everybody in the house. Even though that was episode five, that was still very early on in the game. So, like, we just yeah. watched CC win the tribunal and throw himself down and go home by a rookie. So, people weren't really trying to go in. Like, they were just satisfied with being in power, being safe, and making it to the next week. Because you got to think, longevity Fact. is a big key in this game. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you want to go in and win your red school and do big shit, but you don't want to be sent home in the process. Facts. 100%. And that's what we talked about all the time. It was like, listen, we we got numbers, and not only that, everybody was competing really good. It's like we're, we went in with the, the concept of like, all right, we're here for – we're going to be here for a fucking while. You know, that's what sucked about – I feel bad for Jay. And, I mean, I'm proud of the kid, dude. As a rookie, like, he did his thing, bro. He'll be back. But, you know, it, it just sucks that, like, that's just a card he's, that he was dealt. You know, once somebody, they say your name, you're just going to be a target the whole time until you leave or until, I mean, you keep fucking winning and coming back. Obviously, we can't say what happens at the end of the elimination. But yeah, say Jay does win. Yeah. You think we're going to, like, you think people are going to, like, the fan base is going to think for a fourth time we'd send them in? Or after that, it's like, all right, now we got to get our red soul. What up, Nelly? What up, Nelly T? Who we got here? What's up, Nelly? Um, Boy, Nelly got some airtime tonight. Nelson did his thing, dude. Nelson's in it. Um, no, I think, bro, unfortunately, I fucking love the kid. But I think every – this is the thing. Also, when you do – Everybody multiple, wants to go against him. Everybody wants to go against him. He had a huge target on his back. Not only that, 
yo, everybody has ties. Like Nelson, Nelson's still in here. Nelson has ties with Corey. We have a friendship, bro. Everybody had stronger bonds. Nobody was gonna go up against their friends. When you do this show multiple times, bro, you build relationships with people and being a rookie and coming in, you're just not, you know? So I feel like that's just gonna be his game. He's just gonna keep being targeted. What's up, Dally? <laughs> um, yeah, and I think another thing that's different about the challenge as far as um, Big Brother is the fact that just because, I mean, uh, never mind, I'm not going to give away too much, man, because they're going to have to watch. No, you can talk without, we're not saying that much. What we yeah, can talk yeah. about is last week's, because I got so much shit I want to talk about. I feel like I'm about to do a YouTube video and just drop all this shit. Well, but, okay, let me, let me ask you this. Last, yeah. last guy's day, right, when Jay got voted in, um, who, who'd you, you voted for Jay, right? Um, no, I didn't vote for Jay. I voted for ASAP. Was it ASAP? No, that, that was the first round. I'm talking about the second round when CT was in the tribunal. When I, D I voted for Nelson, for Nelson. Oh, and okay. I'm cool with the kid, but he, so, I just didn't have a friendship with him. So, so that's what I was going to say. So as far as big brother and challenge it being different like so yeah. there's alliances in the challenge just like there is big brother right but for the most part in big brother alliances usually will vote together there might be a flip here or there and same way with the challenge but i think because the challenge the numbers start off so big there was 28 this season compared yeah. to big brother being 16 yeah. just because you're in alliance with somebody like and you're never going to say their name, that doesn't mean you're going to vote the same way yeah. every single time because we all have True. separate ties. We all have that one person who I'm like, ah, oh, I can't say their name. And same way with you. You're like, ah, oh, I can't say their name. Yeah. So that's where the, the nomination ceremony uh, on the challenge is very, very tricky. 100% dude. I feel like that's, you, you hit it right on the head. Like with Big Brother, if you're in an alliance, you're riding with each other with the challenge, people have so many ties from past seasons that everybody's doing their own thing, but it's kind of like, you know yep. I'm not coming after you, but play your own game. That's how we play it. Like, you do your thing. You I heard what thing, Jenna but... said to Jay? What you said? She was like, uh, when Jay was like, I'm here in Jordan, Jenna was like, yeah, I can't say Jordan. <laughs> That's how it is, though. Like, I wasn't going to say Jordan. The reason why, like, I wasn't, I wasn't going to say Jordan. You knew I wasn't going to say Jordan or Bear or Johnny the whole season. Yeah. But... But um, the reason why I kind of played it up, because I wanted to see where Swaggy lied in the tribunal. Yeah. I wanted to see where Swaggy was standing, because we didn't know. Like, we're like, where does Swaggy, like, is he with Big Brother? Who's he really with? Um, but I think that, yeah, for sure. It's like, we, we know we got each other, but everybody's going to do their own thing at the end of the day. Bro, it's, when, it's I saw somebody, when I saw Rogan go down there and just how, like, excited he was, I was like, Fuck, man, I would have loved to go against Rogan and Balls in. Bro, I, I, when I saw it, I instantly was like, what? I mean, I said it. I was like, I would have, I, listen, I'm a big guy. No, no, Jay's a fucking beast. Obviously, we see this, but I'm, a, I'm, I'm probably like 60 pounds heavier than the guy. You know, I feel like that would have been mine, but, you know. But still, it, it was, was still it was early, early, bro. It, it was, was early. early. It was real early. It was early. A lot of people don't understand that because they're looking at it from a viewer perspective on their couch for entertainment. We're looking yeah. at it. Well, there's a million dollars. A million dollars. Yeah. So like, there's a million yeah. dollars at the end of this. I'm sitting pretty. I got a lot of friends <laughs> looking out for me. Yo, yeah. I'm not going to fuck this up right now. Yeah. So you I know? get it. I get it. Um, and I think, I think a lot of fans, like, actually, like, for me being a rookie and um, – like from Big Brother and not from, you know, MTV related, all of the comments I've seen online have been pretty good. So fans are pr being pretty receptive of the rookies and the Big Brother crew. So that that's all that's all cool. Um, My brother, I said it in an interview. I did an interview the other day, and I said it, I was like, the pool that they brought, like bringing all you guys on, you guys have represented yourselves, but also Big Brother. Like you guys are fucking all, all of you. Mm -hmm. You, every single one of you, you guys are fucking great. Kaylee, and what's up, Kaylee? Who? I love you, Kaylee. She's like one of my biggest supporters online. I just, I just gave her oh. a little shout out. Where? Um, yeah, and that, that's what I'm saying as far as like some Big Brother fans or like my fans getting mad about like um, not getting no airtime. It's like just relax. This is a <laughs> it's long worth, game. It's it's a long game, it's, guys. 
I promise you longevity at the end will be well worth it. You know, you, you don't want to be the one popping out of the mouth just to get some airtime time yep. to be sent home episode three, you know, so. That's what I, bro, that's what I realized coming into this season. I, so with doing, what's up, Dally? With doing two seasons, bro, I realized, I was like, yo, I can't come in hot. Like, I can't come in like that. And my last season, I came in day one getting into it with CT, and I was like, yo, I'm going to chill out. And I saw the lineup, so I was like, I'm in a good spot. I'm going to chill out. And it's not about, bro, if you're trying to get to the end and get to the money, we're all in there for a million, bro. We're not in there for anything else. So you're doing your thing, and you've you proved yourself in the right way, which is competing. Yeah. And, and a, a lot of people, like, fan base, I mean, obviously the fan base that knows me, they know what it is, but, like, new, like a lot of new people have been receptive, like, because I've kind of, even though I haven't won a tribunal, all the big brother people have won a tribunal, you know what I mean? So y'all are balling out. Like, Swaggy's won two um, and got pulled in another by Bailey, the one that she won. Um, you and Casey have won one now. Um, but yeah. what a lot of the episode doesn't show is, like, the clips of us performing, like, are highlighted clips because they got to oh, show yeah. everybody perform. But yeah. everybody who's in that challenge house, they saw every single second of everyone oh, yeah. performing. Yeah. So, that being said, even though I haven't won a tribunal, they saw, they saw you. how fucking, how I balled out and everything. So, like, yeah. they take that and that's, that's, what, when that's That's what I love about people. You know each person that comes in each season and watches the edit. And then the people that actually don't fucking even pay attention to that and go based off how we compete every challenge. Like, the people that have seen me compete know that I can compete because they see me yeah. do my thing. Even though I may not win, I do my thing. But you'll be – it's funny when people go based off how they edit a storyline or whatever. But it's like, bro, at the end of the day, we – I love this cast because even with, like, me and Wes or, or like, certain people – it's not personal, bro. It's all game related. And that's probably the best thing about this season that I love. As heavy as it gets and heated, it's all on a game level. It's not on some like personal jabs and some shit, you know? Yeah. Even though you did take digs at me. Um, I forgot they, they do that sometimes. They um they don't finish the elimination at the end of the episode. Bro, I don't remember I honestly don't remember the last episode. That I saw that in. This is probably the first one I see where they don't finish the elimination. It was last season, I think. Really? They, they did one like that last season. And then they started the next episode with the... Just to, I mean, to be more sus suspenseful, I guess. Yeah. But, um... Shit, all right, bro. I'm gonna uh, hop out of here and probably answer some All right, brother. All right, bro. Dolly, homie. Dolly. My boy Josh, he's over there in South Florida, lit as fuck. Um, so yeah, some of y'all are asking questions that I can't answer because they didn't show it in the episode. So uh, yeah. Um, like I said before, though, I'm gonna everybody on my Patreon that um, message me questions, I'm gonna try to answer all of them there are a lot of messages but i'm gonna uh, record that video when i get off of here and then post it up by tonight um if you're interested in seeing the whole recap video um the link is in my bio if not i'm still gonna get on here live and try to talk as much as i can um my team so yeah i love my team however um i love you too Ailey. thanks about the hair um, just put a little trust man before this live. Um, what was the question? I forgot what the question was. Oh yeah, did I like my team? Yes, I love my team. However, I wish I would have run. I don't know why I didn't run. I'm gonna answer that later in my recap video. Not gonna give it away here. <laughs> Haley, actually Haley subscribed to the Patreon too. She did, and she didn't even uh, she didn't even that or tell me she just subscribed. So, um, let's get you signed, Tresemme. Yes. Um, they want to pull that stunt on you for sure. I don't know what stunt you're talking about, but I do wish I would have went in for balls in, man. Like, like a hall brawl and um, tug of war and pole wrestle is all good and gravy, but like. Balls in, like, 
like you said, Rogan said he played rugby his whole life. I played football my whole life. Like, that would have been a good one. <sighs> would have been a real good one. Not going to say who would have came out on top because, you know, Rogan's a beast. But, uh, yeah, that would have been good. Um... Rogan should get disqualified for doing what he did. I don't think Rogan intentionally meant to hurt him. I think in that first clip, um, I could talk about this because it was the first clip. Um, Jay did not do a good job of protecting himself. You could tell that Jay had never played um, a contact sport and it showed in that first round. However, before the round, I was like, okay, obviously Rogan's got size on him, strength, but I thought Jay was like savvy and, and smart and, and he is, but going into this elimination, I was like, okay, so obviously he's going to try to juke him out. I didn't know if he was faster than him, but he was smaller. Maybe he could, you know, skinny his way through and get the ball in. But that first round, it was like, Jay kind of just stopped and was just like, take me away. Take me away, Rogan. Um, yeah. So that really, it gave me chills watching that because I was just like, fuck, man, I wish I was down there. Um, going against Rogan, of course. I, I mean, I wouldn't want to go against Jay because I know Jay would beat my ass. He thought he would hit him with the Lamar Jackson. But what was the body slam? The body slam, for me, it was just, it was like embarrassing to, for me, it was hard for me to watch because Jay didn't know what he was doing. Um, and Rogan just slammed him. Like, it wasn't a dirty move. I'm not going to say that. But, like, for me, I was just like, ah. Oh. Like, Jay had no idea what he was doing that first round. And the hit, I mean, it wasn't a hit. It was a slam. So, like, Jay just didn't know. The thing is, if you don't know, if you have never played a contact sport, you don't know how to fall and falling is a big part. You have to know how to maneuver your body to not get injured. So I think Jay just let Rogan take him like a little rag doll, like Rogan said. And the problem was Jay didn't land properly. Um, yeah. But besides that, um, that was an elimination. I wish I would have done any other questions? Uh, I answer a couple more questions in the comments, and I'm gonna get off and, and record this video for our Patreon. Talk about Bear and Kayla. <laughs> That's funny. We we were watching that unfold all season long. I'm not gonna sit here and really talk about their relationship because that's on them. Um. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. It is hard to move with a ball on fire. I've never done it. Um, but they were wearing fireproof suits, so I think, you know, it was the best strategy was to act like it wasn't on fire because you weren't going to get hurt, so just tuck it away and run. Um, what did you – what did I think about them throwing Jay in? I mean, I get it in the fact that, like, you don't want to say someone else's name. Um – but for me, I was like, yo, I'm not going to say Jay's name. I haven't said his name. Um, so Bear is going to have to be you. And I, I like Bear. I had no beef with Bear. But I was just like, people are sitting here targeting the rookies, even if it's just one rookie. I know when Jay leaves, it's going to be another rookie. So who am I as a rookie to th say another rookie's name when bets are not saying other bets' names? It doesn't make sense. So uh, I learned that from Big Brother. It's a numbers game, buddy. And as much as I was on the outs early on with the votes, I'm talking about on the challenge, hopefully that shit turns around because that shit gets old really quick. Um, it is weird being on a pre-recorded show because obviously you know what happens, but you don't know how they're going to edit it or what they're going to show. Yes. Why... Do they never vote you in? Why do they never vote me in? Because <laughs> the funny thing about how eliminations work is if you vote, it's different if you get thrown in by the tribunal by one of your friends. But if they vote you in during the House nomination, they're picking their opponent. So, okay, different by a girl saying my name, but by all the guys saying my name, 
tribunal ain't going to go against me. That means you're saying my name. One of y'all lucky guys who are throwing my name around are going to have to go against me. And they didn't want that. Like, the episode, they're trying to, you know, show storylines and, and drama and all that. But we will get to that, my friends. We will get to that question. Why have they not said my name? And if and when they do say my name, you'll understand why. Um, yeah, so it's different um, than Big Brother because Big Brother had the live feeds. So, yeah, one thing I like about MTV and the challenge is they edit what happened for the most part. Obviously, they can't show everything that happened because they only have an hour and a half. Um, so things get left out. But for the most part, they do not um, distort things. Like how it is perceived on the television, that is pretty much how it happened um, in the bunker. So I am grateful for that. Um, I think Rogan is a competitor. I do think Rogan is a competitor. I think he gets a bad rap because last season he didn't see elimination, but you got to understand that his first season he went out um, on that first purge or whatever, so he had something to prove um, by not only making the final but winning the final, and he did just that. So if it's not this twist where you have to go into elimination, why would you go into elimination chance it? Like I said, the best thing about this – Best thing you could do is um, try to make it as far as you can and, and give yourself a shot at that final. So um, I don't think Rogan is playing a scary game. Um, do I think the whole Jay Rogan rivalry is a little overhyped? Yes. Um, but, you know, we are on a reality TV show trying to win a million dollars. So how tall and old am I? I am six foot five and I'm 28 years old. What's my take on Wes and Jordan? I mean, they've been doing this a long time, a lot longer than I have. So, um, but I think it's just a big pissing contest. Um, you know, I mean, obviously we're locked in a bunker, having to piss and shit and porta potties. People get under our skin. Um, but yeah, not too much to say about that. Um, let me see. <laughs> uh, nah, I think the only dude from Big Brother 20, I mean, anybody, I mean, it's just another reality TV show, so everybody's, did my football career end because of an injury? There was a lot to it. Um, I hurt my shoulder. i said this a million times. I hurt my shoulder right here. Um, against Central Michigan, first game of my senior year. Um, but it was that along with, so my head coach in college, his son was the quarterback, so it was kind of like daddy ball. So we ran the ball a lot, so that shit was annoying. Even though, you know, I, I had a, I led the team receiving every year. We didn't throw the ball that much. So I think coming from a small D1 school, um, me not having crazy numbers. I had really good numbers. I got All-American and all that. But – um, coming from a small school and I was running the ball because daddy was the coach and, you know, kind of fucked me, but whatever. It is what it is. Everything happens for a reason. I do not think Haley will be signing up to do the challenge. Everybody keeps mentioning that. She said it herself. I don't think she wants to do it. Um, I'm not saying she wouldn't be good. Haley's athletic. Obviously, she's good at gameplay, but the challenges themselves, Haley, Haley's a very small girl. I am half white, half Pakistani. All right, y'all. I've answered enough questions. If y'all want to see, if y'all want to see the whole um, recap, I'm gonna post it on my Patreon. The link is in my bio. Probably be 15, 20 minutes long. I'm gonna answer everybody's questions. If you haven't done so, um, subscribe to the Patreon. If you don't want to, that's fine. I'll hop on here live every week. Try to interact with you as much as I can on here. But the Patreon gives me a chance where, you know, my diehard fans, um, they can see everything. Um, I don't have to filter any of that. And I'll post a link tonight, guys. All right. Appreciate the love. And uh, stay safe out there, people.